Hello friends, this is Mums Crossing and today we're going to be doing a very special challenge. This amazing, spectacular, never been done before challenge was created by Ellie Builds. I will pin her channel here and this build is called the Nook's Cranny Challenge. The challenge is to go into your Nook's Cranny and try to make a build with all of the items in Nook's Cranny on that day. So we are doing that. I'm getting some pretty good items. So we will just buy all these items and see what we can do. So this is the area that I'm going to be building on. This is like the only real blank space on my island. So we're going to start out with some pathing. So after thinking about these items, I decided that I wanted to do a nail salon. So we're going to put this pathing down and have the wood be kind of inside and then use custom codes for a road or street on the outside of the building. I will put all these codes in the description below, so go check those out if you're interested. But I will just put down these chairs. I bought multiple so that we could have a line of massage chairs like they do in spas, and I thought this looked really realistic. And this was the only kind of tub that I could find that was like a wash tub or a foot spa tub. So we're gonna be using that for our people getting pedicures. So then I realized that I was kind of running out of room and wanted to bring it forward a space more. So I am laying down this pathing path here and then adding some more of these items. These tables are going to be the tables that you would get manicures at, so I'm just laying those out to get a structure going. Now I'm just going to decorate the streets a little bit. This is the first time I'm ever doing a road in Animal Crossing. It is so different from what I usually do, but I really like it. I love the scooter here and the evergreen ashes with the planters just look so cute together. So I thought it was a good kind of entrance for the salon. And now that I have these tables set here, these are obviously where people are going to get manicures. So I put the little nail sets down and now I'm just trying to play with some of the items to make it look good. I put a little cushion down over here because in the salons I go to, they usually have a little pillow for you. I'm just kind of adjusting the spacing of everything because at first I wanted it to be a pretty small build but then as I started adding more and more items I realized I needed a little bit more space so I'm going to spread out these items a little bit and add these castle gates as a way to enclose the building a little bit more. And the automatic washer was one of the Nook's Cranny items, so I'm just putting this little laundry rattan basket here to make it look like they're washing towels and things like that. And back here, I just picked this little pink storage shed to be, maybe they store their nail polishes in here or something like that. And some boxes. 
The cardboard box was another Nook's Cranny item, so I'm just adding this here with the first aid kit here, which turned around looks like a manicure, supplies, or maybe some nail polish. So I thought that was really cute. And then now I'm just putting down some codes and doing a couple finishing touches. I decided to get rid of one of the chairs over here because it looked just a little bit too cramped so maybe only one seat for one person who's waiting and then on the top I thought it would be really cute to see party lights poking over the top of the castle walls and that completes the build I hope you guys enjoyed this and get some inspiration from this little spa here Please go subscribe to Ellie Builds. She thought of this challenge and she did the original version of this challenge. I will link that in the description below. Please feel free to do this challenge and tag Ellie if you decide to do so. I know she would really love to see it. But with that, thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!